Hi everybody, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with our next zodiac sign that is Scorpio. Scorpio 2022 April. Please don't mind any noise coming from, there's a, there's a construction going on and there's too much of noise around me. So please don't mind that. Uh, even if you keep the windows closed, the noise will come. So let's see our next zodiac sign that is Scorpio. Scorpio 2022 April. Okay. So Scorpio, let's see what we have for you in April. Scorpios are... They are, I feel they are getting more and more intuitive. Their intuition is rising a lot. They are always searching for all the answers. Right now, they are definitely wanting to focus on their work and money only. They are out and out social and social, you know, gatherings and everything to network. That's a very good thing. Okay, so in the first, first card, that is the first week uh, for April 2022, is they're feeling a little disappointed. They're disappointed because they feel that uh, they don't want to look at the positive side of life. Now, this is more to do with having some kind of uh, argument or fight with somebody in your workspace who could be a female okay she has a lot of money she's very practical she's very cunning also at times so I see a person who's cunning who's practical who's who's like in a good position with money uh, there's some kind of fight argument happening with her okay this could uh, also be related to your work or personal life anything Okay, somewhere uh, there is a lot of uh, ambition inside of you, Scorpio. You're wanting a level up in life. You're trying to struggle to do something, and when you tr and when you meet in that journey, people who are not considerate, not compassionate, not uh, giving you your due that you have worked for up till now, uh, then this is going to really affect you, and that is where the disappointment is coming from in the first week. Second week, somebody uh, from the past, I feel, somebody whom you knew, maybe your, uh, it could be an old friend, it could be an old colleague, it could be a sibling, anybody from the past will come back and say hi, all your old memories are going to come back and with this person, because this person is very creative, energetic, uh, you know, full of life, trying to show you the different side of life, that sort of a thing, you know. So you are going to meet someone who is very childlike, who is very fun loving, who loves, who is like you know, uh, all into um, very fun and creative and maybe an actor kind of a person, not sure, but that kind of a person. You might meet somebody like that uh, who will change the whole perspective about life, okay, the second week could be a this could be a sibling too or somebody old karmic or somebody you already knew since your childhood maybe okay it will be really fun and a new energy for you in the second week third week now third week is all about speed about work about mental you're trying to you know uh, work very hard you're trying to take things in a speed because you really need that your work is getting slow so you tend to get very very sharp in your mind you're not in your heart chakra you're all in all in your mind you're trying to work you're going to try to do things uh, in your way and everything's going to work out for you in the third week it's because all your work will be in your control and you're going to take it with a lot of speed your situation be will be something like that that somebody can even manipulate you so be very careful especially an older woman okay be very careful an older woman might come in your life to manipulate you that also could happen but at the same time, I see you sacrificing. I see you doing a lot of work. I see you a lot of moving forward also. Okay. Now, the fourth week is all in your power. Creativity, doing your work, walking forward, you know, uh, movement in work, a new beginning in work again. So, I think Scorpio, you have to just keep your mind calm in the first week. Even if you find someone who's trying to trigger you, do not get triggered. Okay. We all get triggered, even though we say we don't. When I get triggered, we all get triggered. But the only thing is that we need to balance ourselves, not to make some mistakes that might happen. So 
just take care so first week could be an argument second week you meet someone from the old energy somebody from the past and the third week you're all into working 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 but somebody might try to manipulate also and the fourth week is all good all good all great work is great moving forward creativity high uh, lots of ideas in your mind good it's a good week okay let's see what we have in your relationship area now As you have seen my, I think whoever has seen up till now my zodiac sign, I don't think anybody has said that it did not come true. Okay, so whatever advices you get in this reading, any reading, any zodiac reading, you should follow it. Okay, Let's see what you have in your relationship, manifestation. Somewhere in your relationship, you're manifesting something, Scorpios, okay? You need to speak the truth or somebody needs to speak the truth to you. You're trying to seek, again, seek the truth has also come. still deciding I feel and you're still releasing in the month of April you're manifesting you're working on yourself you're meditating you are learning spiritually you are you know thinking contemplating you have offers in front of you you don't know where to go okay you're putting efforts in yourself to heal the past energies can if you see this card you're literally releasing the past very carefully because you know it is not working for you you know what you want right now. You're working on your own personal power. Okay. For singles, there is definitely something coming. Amazing. I see six to seven opportunities coming towards you. Okay. There are different, different kind of people who will come towards you, offer you a relationship, offer you love. You need to decide. And you're still deciding, you're still releasing, you're still, you know, manifesting what you want. So I don't think you will take a decision in the month of April. For married people who are already in a relationship, who are, who are not married also in a relationship, I feel you all need to work on your intimacy, okay? You need to work on your intimacy. You need to both work on your heart chakra, Scorpios, your heart chakra and their partner's heart chakra because up till now, you're not looking at the emotional side of life. And if you do, definitely your commitment is going to get stronger. And if you're not committed, committed you will get committed to someone in the month of april so you to work on that commitment part to work on that bonding intimacy part you have to work on your base chakra which is very very important to activate that please do some kind of root chakra meditation because it's going to really help in the month of april okay so there's a lot of healing coming you are going to heal you're going to manifest Singles will find more people, already people who have somebody in their life, they are going to work on their heart chakra and root chakra, which is blocked and that is why you all are not getting very close to your partner. Okay, so let's see what we have as a fairy message. What advice do my fairies have for Scorpios? <clears throat> Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights say that you are a part of nature. So is your magic too. Believe in magic. So maybe somewhere, uh, Scorpios, you have lost faith in the universe. You have lost faith that you are that magical that you can attract anything that you want. Right? So you need to believe in that so when you're working on yourself you're releasing the past you also have to work on your faith and your belief if you don't believe in magic how will you believe in the universe because universe is full of magic okay and magic is within you so believe close your eyes and see yourself in that situation don't be disappointed don't be disappointed you will have what you want just need to believe very strongly from your heart Close your eyes, take a deep breath and you say, I want this in my life. Every day. 
and see how you can help. Okay, that's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and call me for paid appointments only, even with paid appointments. That's all for today. Goodbye, God, be good. Bye-bye.